is in your face. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today it is the first day of lockdown and I thought it was important to come at you with this video here. Now obviously this video won't be going up for a couple of days or maybe two or three days, but it should still be applicable even in a few days time. That's the weird thing that I'm uh, seeing at the moment with videos. I'm not normally used to having to upload videos pretty quickly in case things change but at the moment when I'm doing videos possibly that are a little bit centered around the current situation I seem to I'm constantly second guessing myself because I'm thinking oh actually this may change in a couple of days but hopefully this won't change anyway and some of these things will be applicable to add to your life now or even in the future if things do change. Of course, a lot of us are having to stay at home now. A lot of people obviously um, aren't going to their jobs at all or they're obviously having to uh, look after their kids, homeschool their children, things like that. And everyone is basically stuck at home and we're allowed to go out once a day for a walk. We're allowed to go out obviously for essential travel and things like that. For example, uh, picking up your food, shopping, all that sort of stuff. But what do we what can we do for our health our mental health it's staying inside all this time what can we do when we are inside that is of benefit and that is very positive now I'm going to f uh, focus this more around business and things like that but obviously I will include things uh, just generally as well that you can do at home for the benefit of your mental health so essentially I've always been a person who I just love being at home, I love being inside, I've never really struggled with that at all. Obviously I am very introverted so with that being the case it's not something that really negatively affects my mental health when I am in, indoors specifically. And obviously I remember when I used to go to school and stuff, I would have rather just stayed at home to be honest and just done my work myself at home. I've always liked that. And that's possibly why myself and obviously other people watching this who are also quite introverted gravitate to a career like reselling because a lot of the time, for the most part, you are on your own. It's quite a solitary job. Or not even reselling, but when we extend that out to, obviously, any sort of online career in which you are in front of a computer or a laptop by yourself and you are simply uh, just someone who is going out there, well, not even going out there into the world, but is basically setting up a business online and conquering the world just with you and a laptop. And so, yeah, that's kind of, it's never really been too much of a problem in that regard. But there is still a few things that I do to obviously make sure that I have a bit of routine, I have a bit of structure and I feel happy, comfortable and my mental health isn't going too far down or going like, you know, just basically going, being unstable because it's one thing obviously mental health going down but also if your mental health is kind of fluctuating like that so one day you're really good and then the next day you're really bad, that's not necessarily healthy either. You know, just a nice sort of balance, sort of a, a very consistent um, health in terms of your emotional stability and things like that. That's probably the, the optimum essentially. And so I like go. I like things like going for walks. Now, of course, as I've just mentioned, we can only go for one walk a day, um, but we don't really need to say any particular length at the moment. There's not been any particular length given. And also, if you are going down, obviously you need to be sensible about this. If you're going down the back roads, there's loads of different back roads down by me uh, in the countryside where there is no one. I'm very fortunate to have that. So if I want to go for an hour walk down my, those back roads, there's not really going to be many people down there. Now I did see today a few more people there and if I actually went further down, because there's a few different routes I know that are a little bit more hidden, if I went further down you would eventually get to a place where there's literally no one there and therefore you're not putting anyone at risk in that situation, anything like that. So if you have a place around you where it's very sort of in the countryside then you can go for a longer walk and that is really good, that's really really beneficial for your mental health. In terms of actually working and um, doing things around the house and things like that, not just to benefit your mental health, although it may have that effect. I love working, it's something I've always loved to do. And so um, when I'm obviously at home, I can do different projects on the computer. I've taught myself things like Premiere Pro and Photoshop and, and things like that. And obviously I've got involved with certain investments over, over the past few years. And so I always have things that I can do. I have things that I can build upon. So therefore we can actually use 
that, we can optimise that, not only for our mental health, although as I say it may have benefits for that, but also for uh, financial gain as well, and, and just giving ourselves some structure and some routine during this time. So maybe if there's a project that you haven't considered doing up until now because of time restrictions or, or this or that or whatever it is, like life just gets in the way, now is the time to set it up. For example, I've been thinking of writing another book for a while and so it's something that in the next few weeks I might consider doing as well. Although saying that, I've got far too much to do. It's crazy. Being at home has made me so much more motivated because I think, well, now I'm not going out to see family. I'm not going out to do this. I'm not going out to do the other. I, you know, I might not even have to go to the parcel shop hardly, you know, for any time. I won't go every day at all or anything like that. So that means that that time's freed up. All this time is freed up. And I'm just like so directed and motivated at the moment just to get things done and just all these things popping off and it's so I just I'm so excited at the moment. I'm so full I'm a bundle of energy I'm just like I want to get on and do these different things that I've got planned and so the book idea is something else that will get pushed further away even though I necessarily don't particularly want it to but I've just got so many other things that I'm excited about and I want to do so whether it be you've got a book that you wanted to do you can get involved with that whether it be that I don't know you want to set up a website you want to set up a YouTube channel like this you want to set up some sort of investments or what, whatever it may be although investments may be a tricky area at the moment we're not really sure you know with all the uncertainty and stuff but if you're already in an investing space and you know the market and stuff then it might be a consideration to maybe get more involved with that but yeah maybe if you're a beginner investor be a bit careful at the moment at least definitely do your research in, in that regard but whatever it may be get involved there's so much you can do online and you can make use of your time at home and 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 feel good as well because when we achieve a project when i've got something on a to-do list that i tick off and maybe it's quite a big thing on the to-do list one day that i'm ticking off i feel really good and that directly positively impacts my mental health we use that alongside or in in uni unison with going out for a walk, getting involved with nature, things like that, then we can really um, sustain our mental health quite positively. And also, I've not even touched upon things aside from work, with regards to being able to use brilliant things in this day and age, things like Skype or FaceTime or Instagram or anything like that. Um, I'm more specifically thinking and want to talk about the video side of things because obviously that's the closest thing to face to face you'll be able to get currently we're obviously just having to to stay in most of the time and so things as i say uh, maybe i mean you can do video uh, in, on instagram can't you and things like that so i mean even live streaming on youtube that's a good one for your mental health now it isn't gonna be incredibly positive for your mental health and obviously things like social media can be can have a negative element and so that's why you have to use them in the way that's personal to you and maybe don't go overboard let's say you you can feel a sense of negativity with social media I suppose just be aware of that for yourself and maybe uh, instigate a few other things aside from that or, or in union with that as I say and then obviously that will maybe negate a little bit, bit of that negative it'll kind of it'll it'll make sure that essentially you aren't getting too negative with that one thing so obviously just using them sparingly might be a good thing but you know skype um instagram videos youtube streaming things like that these will all help to a certain degree but as i say with those you can go a little bit overboard and it can actually tip the scales in the opposite direction if you aren't careful but these are brilliant things at the moment to utilize when you aren't being able to get any face-to-face -face communication and obviously my, with myself I like to do meditation now I don't normally do meditation in the normal sense of doing sitting meditation like zazen or anything like that like we're doing zen buddhism but I normally favor walking meditation and I don't really follow a strict re regime with obviously the um, 
counting your breath in terms of doing uh, when you're doing a step or something like that or, or, or breath getting faster or slower depending on circumstance or depending on how fast or slow you're walking. There's loads of different techniques with walking meditation. In fact, there's another one where you can walk around in a circle and or an oval shape. I don't know anything like that. But what I mean is when I'm out walking, maybe sometimes I do focus on my breath and I, I watch my breath and I just obviously let it flow in and out like that while I'm walking. But usually, you know, just watching things while I'm out in nature, just seeing the sways of the trees, the sways of the branches on the trees. Very, very basic meditation, nothing advanced, nothing crazy, no forms to learn, nothing nothing like that, no weird, crazy poses you have to do, nothing like that. Just simply walking out and being aware of your surroundings. I mean, many people call it awareness meditation if you want to put a label on it, but it's simply, you know, just going out there and when I'm out in nature, just being aware of all the, all that's going on, just really embracing uh, what it means to be a part of nature and being out there in the natural world. And so that can have very positive beneficial effects. The other thing I would say is obviously most of us, fortunately, and I would say fortunately, are in a household with other people. Now, I know there will be people out there who aren't in a household with other people and they may not be able to do this or they probably won't be able to do this unless somehow they're able to get a little bit of contact during the day if possible and if safe. But of course, connect with the people in your household. Use this time as well to bond with the people in your household more over this adversity, to create more solid relationships and to maybe even um, address some concerns you're having in relationships and, and then obviously um, you can become more solid, uh, you can have more solid relationships and become stronger people because of that as well. I found even just recently, the last few days, I've become more aware of my relationships with my parents and I, I feel a, a, a different dynamic coming into play now and it's actually a very positive dynamic um, to do with obviously the adversity of the situation and it's much more of a communicative dynamic in terms of the communication between us is much more efficient and effective and I, I, fi I find myself connecting to them a lot more in a different way and so I think that if you have got other people in your household you know just talking to them being around them and stuff and and just listening to what they have to say and and really just solidifying that bond as well between you is not going to do you any harm it is in the long run going to solidify those relationships even if you are bringing up things that potentially you you have a bit of friction between one another within because when you actually bring up those things you you work through them as well and then obviously that solidifies and and gives you a stronger relationship in the future and so there's so, so many different things that we can be doing there's absolutely tons Obviously, I've not touched upon things like TV or other work you can be doing on the computer or I've got a record player there. You could stick a record on if you've got a record player or stick some music on, whatever it may be. Um, there's so many different things. I mean, you can Google. On, you can literally go on Google and Google things to do at home and stuff. And maybe you've got some art supplies in. Maybe you could do a bit of painting or something like that. There's, so, there's such an abundance of stuff that you can do that you can get involved with. And again, things like painting or drawing, things like that will obviously have positive benefits for your mental health and also if you've got kids at your household then that's a huge benefit because obviously there's been a lot of studies done around how kids can make people feel younger especially with uh, obviously if you've got older members in your household it makes people feel younger it makes people feel more happy because children have this way of of just expressing life in a very beautiful and and and, and articulate way essentially um, that adults can't really fully tap into and obviously some adults have kind of lost that sense of wonder so if you have got children in your household this is a brilliant time to get back to that sense of wonder of course I know the schools are giving out a lot of work um, for parents to do to homeschool their children at this moment and maybe even that's actually a, a, a benefit for actually getting away from it at times and actually just 
um, embracing your kids with just this sense of wonder and artisticness or whatever, this silliness, whatever it may be, and just and just getting back to having a bit of a laugh, having a bit of fun, um, and again that will increase your your family dynamic and strengthen that, and that's always a, a brilliant positive thing as well. So I think I'll leave it there. So the main points are really you know communication in your family, strengthening those relationships, going out for walks, possibly uh, think about maybe doing some meditation if that's your thing if not that's perfectly fine maybe setting up a new project online things like that maybe as I say watching some TV or doing some drawing or whatever it may be and the big one that kind of overarches all this is is getting some sort of structured routine even if it's just a, a small one trying to re readjust readapt to the situation and gaining a better structured routine for the current situation the current temporary I may add situation um, and then obviously you'll feel better you'd feel more more structured and you'll feel um, better in yourself and in your mental and physical well-being and obviously alongside with that structure or included in that structure could be the form of having a to-do list and actually working for a to-do list every day when you get up write down a to-do list like this is what I'm focused on today I'm positive I'm happy and I've got all these different things to do that I can either help myself or help others with even though I am in the situation I am in and so um, we can transcend this this kind of negativity we can transcend this feeling of oh well I don't know what to do I've not got anything to do you know we transcend that and we transcend those negative thoughts by actually structuring things and and putting things in place so we have got things to do and we have got things that we can be happy about we can be grateful about all the rest of it and so yeah that's what I'm doing and and I have to say, it might annoy people that I'm saying it, but I'm actually in a, a good place at the moment. I feel positive, happy about the things I'm doing at home. Now, yes, that's not to say I don't, there's another part of me that does have a more negative element and uh, a, a more sad element of, of the wider situation in terms of the virus and people out there and the horrific situation that's going on. But me being wholly sad about that situation isn't going to help it and so yes I am sad about that situation I think it's a, a terrible situation that we're in and it's come about and it's it simply is just I don't even know how to I, I am kind of speechless I don't know how to describe it but me constantly thinking like that constantly thinking you know about that sadness about all of that stuff that's going on isn't going to actually help the situation in any sort of way really if i'm not being positive if i'm not actually um just being uplifted and feeling good and feeling happy about right now and about the future um then there's really no point in continuing any of this you know if we're not going to be happy if we're not going to have that sense of of drive and motivation even through adversity and even through horrific hard sad times then really there is simply no point to continuing and i think actually there's every point in continuing with life and that is the reason why i am so happy and so um motivated and so confident um in my own ability and everyone else's ability on this planet to get through this and um obviously enter into a new period of this planet where hopefully we can be more united more solid and um more at peace with one another as well so i'll leave it there guys thank you very much for watching and uh, i will see you in the next video so see you very soon guys